Greetings everyone, Eric here and welcome back to another video. In this one we're going to be taking a look at uh, that little thing up there, I don't know if you can see that. It's a wireless mic system, so we're going to take a quick look at it. Ooh, this box is still heavy. Alright, so what we're taking a look at today is the, I'm guessing you call that Phoenix? Phoenix? The Phoenix Pro. PTU-71. It is a wireless microphone kit. Comes with two microphones, it comes with a receiver, and all that other cool jazz. Uh, on the back of the box here, we have some of the uh, overall specifications. Let's see. Carrier frequency range is UHF 530 to 580 hertz, uh, megahertz, sorry. Uh, frequency stability is zero 0.003%, don't know what that means. Uh, dynamic range is greater than 105 dB. Pretty nice, actually. Frequency response is 500 hertz all the way up to 18 kilohertz, which that's actually pretty respectable, especially for something that's supposed to be just a hand mic. You don't really need that much low end. So that's actually really nice. Uh, let's see, audio output level is a quarter jack interface. Um, uh, I don't know what that means, uh, but it also has an XLR interface. So on the back of there, it has two XLR outs and one line out, so quarter jack. Um, the working distance is 80 meters or 260 feet. Um, I actually already recorded some of that testing, so I actually got that number wrong, probably. <laughs> uh, hey, it even has the operating temperature is negative 10 degrees Celsius all the way up to positive 50 degrees Celsius. So it can work in any of those, uh, any of those ranges, <laughs> you know that. Um, yeah, then we have like the receiver stuff. Uh, apparently the XLR connector is 200 ohms. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff on this thing, but um, I don't really need to read all this because uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go over to me unboxing that thing and showing you all the stuff inside. All right, firstly, the box is really nice and the packaging looks really good on the inside. First things we have are the little uh, antenna for the receiver end. And then we see we have the user manual as well as a little thank you card, which is nice. Next, we have a quarter inch uh, cable with a three millimeter uh, adapter. Then we have batteries for the two included microphones. Then we have the power brick for the receiver. Next is the microphone itself, which is nice and sturdy and looks really good, pretty good size. And then in the back of it is where the batteries go. Then we have the unit itself, and this is a really nice, kind of has a good weight to it. I like the black. Um, feels really sturdy, and I believe it's all metal, and then you have the outputs in the back. Okay, that was a wonderful little uh, me opening boxes and taking stuff out. Um, so yeah, I have one of the microphones here. It's got a little bit of heft, which is nice. Um, so it's got a nice uh, sturdiness to it. Uh, my, only, my only gripe with these things, and every one that I've tried, they're so th much thicker than a normal XLR microphone, which I should have one around here somewhere. So this is a Shure SM58, which is basically the stage mic version of, um, of the SM57. So it's basically the same thing, only it ha it's designed more for being held and you're supposed to sing in it. So look at the, look at the base of that. It goes from kind of a nice thickness, but then it thins as it gets here. And that's so you can slip it into a standard um, mic holder, which I don't have a mic clip with me right now, but that works. This, however, uh, is much chunkier. Even, at it, even, at the, even compared to this base, it's very chunky. So you could not put this in a standard microphone stand. Um, so you have to use this holding it. So you have to hold it to use it which uh, can have some, you know, bad benefits. Or, or it, like, I get it that most people who are gonna use this thing are gonna hold it, but it would be nice to have the option to slip it into a mic stand. So I think what they should do is they should provide you with one, provide an extra large opened um, microphone holder for this thing. So that way, if you play an instrument, but you still wanna use wireless for whatever reason, uh, maybe you switch back and forth between using an instrument and not using an instrument, you could have that option of swapping back and forth. So I think they should include that in the box, but uh, they do not. That's a, that's more of a nitpick and a gripe on me. Um, I don't think that's a like a point to like say, oh, don't buy this because it doesn't have a clip. No, no, like 
I would like you can still buy this thing if you think if you like it or if you like the sound if you like the build. So, um, but anyway, speaking of sound, let's uh, test out the sound. So I already have it recording. Um, right now, you're still hearing uh, this little lav mic, which man, my beard is getting so long that it just wants to smack the microphone. But uh, here's the sound of this microphone. Uh, so I'm cutting into this right now. I can see over there on the waveform that it is working. <clears throat> I'm keeping it a decent distance from my mouth because. Even though this is a dynamic microphone, which means it does kind of want you to be up close and personal to it, um, the closer you are to your mouth, the more bass of your voice comes through. So sometimes that can get a little muddy. Now, I am going to process this so that um, you'll be able to hear it um, in a process ma uh, manner. But here, I'll do a quick comparison. So this is the microphone on its own, no processing. So you can hear its natural tones. Uh, the most I'll do to this thing is maybe a little bit of volume control just to make sure it's at the same level so that you, you're not because if you hear something quieter and then hear something louder your mind's going to pick the louder thing as the better sound so i'm going to try my best to keep them even uh in volume or at least i'm going to try like i'm going to try my best um and then here we are switching over to me putting like some uh, EQ, a little bit of compression, all the stuff that I would normally do to a microphone that isn't already being affected. Uh, the lavalier mic actually is plugged directly into the camera, and the camera just does stuff all on its own, so I don't have to do anything. Uh, I do need to get I need to get an actual recorder for this thing, so I can just have the recorder connected to me rather than connected to the bloody camera, so I can never walk away from the camera. But I digest. <laughs> but I di I digest. Yes, I am digesting that thought. I digress. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I think everything uh, seems pretty okay. It's very muddy without the processing, but I think once you process it pretty good, it sounds fine. And if you were singing through this thing or you were using it as an interview mic, also I can see some peaking that I did at some point. Oh, no, no, I don't see any red. But uh, yeah, if you were just using this for singing, uh, if you are using this for interviewing stuff, if you're a churchgoer, so you want to use this for church production, all you need is just a simple EQ and compressor like uh, near the rack before um, or before this gets into the computer or into your speaker device or into your speakers or whatever, you'd be fine. Like this, just like every one of these mics that I've tested, they sound fine if you just do a little bit of help to them. Um, but on their own, I would not suggest using them by themselves. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna switch back to this. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say to that really. Um, but let's also check that uh, 260 foot range. Now I don't have the ability to just go outside and go for 260 feet or anything like that because we're still under kind of uh, quarantine situations and all. In fact, Delaware just uh, Delaware just enacted to where they're pretty much requiring officially by law, basically, uh, that you have to wear a mask in public environments and stuff like that. So just going to take things safely. But I am going to go out back and I'm going to walk a pretty good away, pretty good distance away from that thing. Um, so let's switch over to that footage. Okay, so it is a beautiful day out. As you can see, I am outside. Uh, hopefully you can hear me okay. Hopefully you can't hear all that. There's a helicopter going by. Just, just flying on by. But anyway, as you can see, I'm using my lav mic right now. The microphone is set up inside. The uh, actual receiver is set up inside. And I have the microphone right here. So I am a good distance away from the device. It is actually through this wall. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk out that way while talking to this, and we're going to see if you can hear it. So uh, I'm going to take this off now. Her, unclip, unclip, you bastard. Okay, so I am currently only using this. Also, I think, oh, that is still so bright. Let's see if I can lower that even further. Oh, that is so intense. But anyway, so here I'm using the microphone. As you can see, I am backing away. Um, the microphone, as I said, or the receiver, as I said, is currently over here, kind of in this direction. I don't know if you can even see me that well, but it is actually right at my window. So this has the best line of sight. So it says it can go 200 and I think 50 uh, meters or something like that, 160 feet. I don't know. I will tell you after I'm done this, I'm recording things at a weird order. Hopefully you can still see me. So yeah. Hopefully this is still working from over here. Hopefully it is nice and boosted. I will walk even further away. Kind of get a, you probably can't even see me anymore, but I am very far away from the bloody thing. So uh, yeah, I am still walking around. I'm gonna walk over here. So now the brick should be in the way as well as a 
there's a fence over here and a, a shed. Hopefully you can still hear me. Hopefully I'm not just talking to myself. I mean, I am talking to myself, but you get the point. So yeah, I'm back in frame now. I have a bug on my glasses. And yeah, hopefully this worked relatively well. Sorry about the height of this thing. I, uh, I can't raise it any higher. That's all I got. Okay, so I don't know if that worked or not. All I can tell is from the waveform, I don't see any cuts or any, anything cutting out, but I can't tell the quality because I haven't listened to it yet. Um, but you'll be the judge of that. You can tell me in the comment section, did it sound good? Uh, do you like this thing? Let me know in the comments, please. Like, give me your honest opinion of the quality of this microphone and whether you would use something like this. Like, because that's, that's the most important thing I want to know is would you guys use this? I have no need for these kind of wireless uh, microphones because I don't play on stage much anymore. And when I do play, I use the good old fashioned, just hard plugged in. Um, that's just my personal preference. I like the SM58. I pretty much don't see any problems with this Phoenix mic. Yeah, um, it's about $125, so that's pretty good for getting two microphones and the receiver. I think that's pretty good. Um, if you try to get something like that from Rode or uh, any other company, you'd be spending more than that probably for the most part, uh, unless prices have gone down. Maybe prices have gone down for some of the bigger products, but I can't tell that right now. I'm, I don't really have the ability. We're, we're currently switching internet and stuff, so things are a little uh, wonky at the moment, but that doesn't matter. All that matters is what do you guys think? Uh, because I think it sounds fine. If I had a need for it, I would have no problem using this thing, just like I've used any of my other ones that I've tried. Works good. Hopefully the range was working just fine. Um, you'll Again, you'll have to confirm that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below on uh, one, what do you think of this microphone system setup? How did it sound? Uh, two, if there's any other products that you would like me to look at specifically, please let me know. Um, if there's anything you would like me to draw or if there's anything you would like like me to uh, teach how to draw, stuff like that, leave them down in the comment below. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, that really helps, as well as making sure you, if you are not subscribed already and you would like to keep uh, following up with my content, please subscribe for more of that content, hit the bell notification, um, yeah, and share the video around if you have people who are interested in one of these things. All that helps so much. Uh, there will be links in the description to where you can pick these things up, um, as well as all my social media and all those other things, uh, t-shirts, stuff like that. I should have worn my... I should have worn one of my t-shirts today. Missed opportunity. I'll have to get on that. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later, everybody.